Hey guys, it's Peter Abt here from Teaching with the iPad and today we're going to have a look at how to play Minecraft on the iPad. Let me start by saying this is a, a flat world in creative mode and I'll put a link to another video um, yeah, below that will show you how to create this, this type of world because it's a really good starting point um, especially for, uh, for education. So let's begin by having a look at some basic controls. You'll see the four arrows in the bottom left hand corner. Um, if you move forward with your, by placing your thumb on that, on the top one you'll move forward, the bottom one moves back, the left one moves left, and the right one moves right. And then you can actually start to move around and use those little diagonal buttons as well to help you move in the, in the, the right direction as you get more confident in the game. On the right hand side, you'll see that little diamond. If you tap that twice with your thumb, that allow you to fly and go down again. Really handy. Um, one of the reasons why you, you, you do creative mode is so you can fly and you can go up above things. Um, it, it's great to get an overall view, but also for taking photos and also building when you get a bit taller. It's a really handy feature. Uh, next, if you again place your thumb on the screen itself, you can actually start to tilt up and down or pan around. So generally speaking, um, it's easiest to play with your two thumbs, you, like you might do with a, a game console controller. Um, so let's just go back down and we'll start now to have a look at the hot bar and the inventory. So the hot bar is the, the little boxes down the bottom. And on the, the very last box on the right with the three dots is where you access your inventory, which will, where all the blocks are. You'll see the tabs on the left hand side, so you can select a uh, construction, equipment, items, and, and nature. Uh, on the right hand side, you're gonna see, um, there's the nature, uh, nature blocks there. You can see crafting. Now crafting is where you put four blocks in those little squares above, and then if you put a particular recipe uh, or um, number of blocks in there, it will produce another block below which has particular features or particular um, sort of um, elements. Um, you're not gonna use that a lot initially, but you will maybe as you become more advanced. And the last one is armor, which I don't use at school, but certainly your students will know how to use that. So we go back to our construction blocks there. Um, you can scroll that up and down. Um, and if you wanted to place a block into the hotbar, you highlight it and then you'll see the little frame around it and then place it in the first hotbar. You'll notice they come in lots of 64. Um, now, when students are playing at home and your more traditional Minecraft, these blocks have particular properties. Um, certainly in class, I'm not concerned about the properties most of the time. Often I'm more concerned about the color or whether they have edges or not. Uh, certainly, if you're, you're counting with um, you know, low, uh, early year students, that becomes really important. So often the colour is as important as the property, especially in the educational setting. Um, I'm now going to choose the green and the blue and maybe the white. That's all I'm going to need to get started. Uh, but I, what I will do too is I'll go to nature and I will we'll scroll down and find a, a grass block. Um, because that's really handy for patching uh, the ground when I make a few mistakes, and I'll show you that a little bit. Uh, little bit. Okay, so let's push the cross in the top right-hand corner. Now we've got some blocks uh, ready to build. Um, so first of all, I'm going to place a block, so I can do that just by placing it on the ground, or touching the screen, and that's where it's gonna go, and I can place another one on top. Um, if I put one in the wrong spot, I just push and hold that, and it's called breaking a block. If I can, I can do the same thing to the ground and I might dig through um, and then I can just replace that with a grass block. Not a big issue, but certainly if you're taking some screenshots, uh, just makes it look a little bit neater. But also too, if you hold that down, uh, your finger on the screen, you'll dig through the world and that can become a bit of an issue because students can fall out of the world. So just encourage them not to hold it too long. It's a bit of a touch, uh, sort of sensitive, Thing, uh, the more you play it, the more you'll get used to it. Um, one other feature too is if, if you, or the thing to know is if you sort of place a block further away, you'll notice it's not placing, and that's because I'm too far away. Whereas if I, so I'll do that with the, a gold block, it's too far away, but when I come closer, it places. So again, when you're starting out, that's just something to, to look for. 
Now, when you're building, um, a really handy tip I find is if you're building up, is to actually go up a bit high and tilt down, and you can just place some block on top, and it becomes really easy to build because you, it's easy to access that base. Um, on, when I'm building on the ground, I often build backwards because again, it allows me access to, for, to put my finger on the side of the block and it becomes really easy to build. So getting used to moving around um, is, is kind of a, a really good thing to do because it makes you more efficient with your building and certainly from a class point of view, um, you, the students get the task done a little bit quicker. So now we've got whatever we're building is sort of placed in the right position and I can just go in and do a screenshot and that then becomes the evidence of my learning. So that's a really, really basic overview of how to play Minecraft, probably more aimed at teachers than students, um, but enough uh, to knowledge and skills to get you started at least. Um, Minecraft is fantastic for education. There's so many applications. I use it heaps and heaps in Steam, uh, particularly in, in terms of the maths content, um, in terms of counting things, number lines, um, and numerals, uh, place value, um, petitioning, all those types of uh, activities. So that's enough to get you started. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next video.